Oh my goodness, welcome to take five, take five of my week 35 video, which is also my eight month surge anniversary. <clears throat> um, my take four was messed up by a phone call. No, take three was messed up by a phone call. Take four was messed up by the computer. Um, hopefully this one will be successful. So uh, last video I was talking about how I didn't really feel any smaller. I couldn't get a grasp on my size. Um, starting to have some body image issues. Um, for some reason, something happened over this weekend. I don't know if there was one thing in particular or just a combination of things. I finally felt smaller. I no longer felt obese. Um, one big thing that happened was I went out to Mongolian barbecue with one of my larger friends. And uh, I always have to add this disclaimer. I'm not judging any larger person. Um, but of course, I do, um, you know, I do observe and I do notice things. Um, in Michigan, we have a very high obesity rate. So, you know, when I was obese, I kind of fit in. Looking around the restaurant, seeing how large people were, I realized I don't fit in anymore. I'm not obese anymore. Um, I think that was a big thing that really made it click was just looking around the room and seeing how large people are and, you know, what an epidemic obesity really is. So um, that really helped for one. Um, another thing is, you know, when I was hanging out with people that were larger than me, I look back now and I see my pictures and I was like, wow, like I was really big. When I was big, it's like this weird thing. It doesn't make any sense. I thought I was bigger than I w was. But on the other hand, I didn't feel that big because I was, you know, I saw people that were much larger than me, you know, 300 pounds, 400 pounds. So, you know, in a way, seeing people being obese becomes a normal thing when you live in an area where there's a lot of heavy people. Um, now I see that it is out of the ordinary. It's not normal. It's not healthy. And, um, you know, not like I said, just not feeling like I was a part of that group anymore, not necessarily feeling skinny or thin, but feeling, you know, just somewhere in the middle. You know, I don't feel like I fit in with thin people because in my mind, I'm not thin. Um, I do have a lot of fat in places. Um, I have a lot of extra skin um, that I think will tighten up with, over time. Uh, but I'm also, like I said, definitely not obese anymore. Um, one thing with the skin is I think what helped me this week is there's a noticeable change in my lower stomach. I think that some of the skin did tighten up. I don't think it was necessarily any more fat lost. Um, but my boyfriend mentioned something and it was funny because earlier in the day when I looked at it, I was thinking, wow, like my stomach looks a little bit smaller. So I think that helped. Another thing is I'm a Salvation Army addict now. I do a lot of shopping. When I try and close, and I grab the sizes, I think, man, this is going to be too small. I put it on and it fits. Sometimes things are too big. I, may, I wear mainly a small, sometimes a medium. And with pants, I wear mainly an 8. Uh, the pair I have today are a 7. And I also have a pair, a size 6 skirt, but uh, more solidly a 8 and a smaller medium top. So at my largest, I was a 24 in pants. Um, so, you know, to go from a 24 to an 8 is dramatic. And also in the tops, the largest I ever was was a 2X. I actually, I did own one 3X, but they were mainly a 2X. And this was actually a few years before surgery when I weighed a little bit more. But, you know, going from a 2X, 3X into a small medium, that's a huge change. And I just wasn't wrapping my head around it. It just, you know, I couldn't comprehend it. I didn't see it. Um, but I actually watched, I also watched a one of my old videos, the one called Why Am I Getting Surgery? And just seeing, like, wow, like, I was so, I'm going to use the word chubby, like technically I was morbidly obese, but I was chubby, like everything was just so full. I looked like I was going to pop like a balloon or something. So um, it's just weird seeing myself because that's not what I saw when I looked in the mirror. Um, like I said, I thought I was bigger than I was on one hand, but on the other hand, I never really looked that large to myself. It's, it's like a weird thing. I don't know. So anyways, um... Another thing is when I try clothes on, like if I, if I, or not try and clothes on, when I put on my pants, I will um, hold the waist open like this and kind of peek down to see that is how much space I take up. Because I'm having, a, I was having a very hard time grasping how much space I took up. So looking down in my pants and seeing, okay, that's how large I am. Um, seeing in the chair, like, oh, there's a little bit of room left over now. Um, you know, being in different areas and noticing like, hey, I have more room than I used to have in here. I put on, I think this helped too, a jacket that was tight on me last year and I zipped it up like it barely zipped up and I put it on and I just looked like I was wearing a freaking sheet, like it was that big. So I think that really helped. Um, what else has been going on with me? I had a little freak out today with my eating. Um, I don't call it a binge anymore because I'm unable to binge. However, let me say this, um, 
the first I could definitely eat much more than I could at the beginning of this um, so I had heard people say you know take advantage of your first six months blah 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 and I'm really grateful that I did because let me tell you the first six months um, take advantage of that if you're still in that time period if you're past that it doesn't mean you can't stop you can't keep losing but you know it was so different for me during those first six months versus now um, it takes a lot more to stay focused um, especially during the first two or three months I was really on point with my you know following the food plan and then I started to fall off a little so anyways I can still lose now but it takes a lot more focus because I can eat a lot more anyways today I came home I ate a donut and some chips and dip and half a piece of pizza I was not hungry in any way shape or form I just had to have something to eat um, <clears throat> I don't beat myself up over it it kind of feels like you know dieting in the past and I see other people do this it's like you mess up and then you you feel like this is the end of the road for me I'm not gonna lose anymore and then you just throw in the towel so I have to catch that in myself is just because I mess up you know it's not a race it's not a sprint it's not anything like that it's a lifestyle change so you know what hey I messed up one day it doesn't mean I have to eat bad for the rest of the week it doesn't mean I have to eat bad for the rest of the month it doesn't mean I have to eat bad for the rest of the year and start over on January 1st um, there's a lot of people that like to start things on the first of the month they like to start things on Monday they like to start things on January 1st and it's silly you know what I mean like you fall down just get up you know so that's what I did I messed up on you know when I came home for my little lunch break um, I got back on track for dinner um, with that said, also, I've noticed that when I'm in particular moods, I'll have specific food cravings. I've been craving sugary foods when I feel upset, down, sad, whatever. I had something happen over the weekend, and I'm not going to go into detail about what it was, but I was feeling really upset over it, and I was craving sugary food. Now, I know from past experiences is when I eat these sugary foods for the next couple of days, I crave them really bad. And that's, I think, how we get off track is we eat something and then it just opens up the floodgate to keep eating it. So I've been working the last couple days to kind of detox it from my system, if you will. Um, yesterday I had a craving for, I was going to eat, I don't know, ice cream or cheesecake or something. So I grabbed a bottle of water instead. It doesn't mean that I'm going to win every time I have a craving and I say, oh, let's get some water. I'm not going to win every time, but I don't have to lose every time just because I have the feeling. Um... But anyways, the Younger Thinner You diet that I had talked about before talks specifically about that. When you're uh, lacking serotonin, dopamine, GABA, you will crave certain foods. So it's interesting to me that, you know, serotonin and dopamine, I believe, are mood regulators. And I'm craving something to boost myself up when I was feeling down. I know from past experiences also that if I'm trying to feel better by eating food, I may get a temporary relief. Um, but it's not gonna last long it doesn't make the problem go away and then I am left dealing with feeling bad feeling guilty feeling like I failed so you know keeping that in mind thinking about how am I gonna feel after I eat this when I'm really not hungry helps me sometimes not eat the particular food um, so anyways yeah just you know stay on track not beating myself up when I do mess up um, week 34 I followed a food plan um, almost to the T, probably 85-90% I followed it and that week I lost two pounds. I was really surprised. I didn't think I could lose two pounds this far out uh, but that brought me to 147.5. Um, week 35 I ate off the food plan 50% of the time, 50% not. I lost a pound that week. Um, I don't know what will happen for this week. I have been eating poorly, um, going through some things emotionally, trying to stay focused and stay on track with it. Um, sometimes it is depressing to me that I think about you know this is a cross I have to bear like can I just eat and not obsess about it and can I just you know be around food and not have to worry about you know am I gonna fall off am I gonna gain all my weight back like oh I wish I didn't have to deal with this but it's you know the same thing as a drug addict you know that's just their affliction that's what they have to deal with and food is mine and unfortunately as depressing as it is this is something I'm gonna have to deal with I'm gonna have to face if I don't do it I'm going to gain my weight back. So, and that's not something I want to do. Um, what else? With this being take five, I don't remember what I said in the other videos. I bet it was very interesting and intellectually stimulating. I'm just kidding. Um, I don't really remember what else I was talking about, but I'm coming near my 10 minute mark. So, I'm going to end here. Someone asked me to stand up. Let me do that real quick. Ta da! Okay, it kind of, um, my video went out. So, let me do that one more time. 
Ta-da! Okay. So these are size 7 pants and a medium top. So thanks for watching. Goodbye.